name's Elaine Hardy. I'm a family nurse practitioner from Hackettstown, New Jersey. I have a family practice here in New Jersey, and I see children and adults with various complaints, including children on the autistic spectrum, but also uh, people who have various skin conditions, eczema, uh, gastrointestinal issues, sinus problems, migraines. Um, I use the Great Plains Laboratory uh, for their IgG testing and some of the other tests that they offer. I'm going to tell you why I like the IgG testing from Great Plains Lab. Um, as many of you know, there, there is IgE testing that would look at full-blown allergies, which would make someone have hives and, and trouble breathing. Um, those would be full-blown allergies that typically would cause hives or allergy asthma attacks. We also know that uh, there are IgG reactions to foods, which are considered more of a food sensitivity rather than a full-blown reaction. And it's actually those antibody reactions that we think can contribute to things like eczema and psoriasis in some cases, a lot of GI problems, migraine, sinus issues, and um, many other conditions. Um, I choose to do IgG testing when I do have someone where I think a food may be related to their condition um, and I do find it to be very helpful if a patient may think that they have a food issue but yet they're not sure what food is bothering um, their body systems. Um, one uh, thing I always say is I probably wouldn't be in business if it wasn't for Great Plains Lab IgG testing because it truly has helped so many of my patients. I'll give you a few examples. Um, I had a, a female patient who had severe headaches for so long um, and they would come and go and there didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason and we really did the IgD testing and we found that it was related to dairy and as soon as she went off dairy her migraines went away. I had another patient who had migraines and it was related to eggs. We would never have figured these things out if it wasn't for this testing. Um, I do find too that because it's more of a natural treatment by taking someone off of food that it doesn't hurt to do the testing and do a trial off the food. Sometimes the foods aren't causing the reaction, but I always say it's worth trying. Probably the, the biggest case that I saw um, was a patient, a young boy who's nine years old who had the most severe form of eczema and case of eczema I've ever seen in my practice. He had been to specialist after specialist, dermatologist after dermatologist, and it was just cream, 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 one after the next, and he really wasn't getting any better. Um, when we did the, the testing, which I will hold up for you, um, you can see that the black lines basically show you which things came back high and which things came back not too high. Um, with this child, you can see that the dairy issue was very high, the gluten, which are sort of commonly found things. Uh, so we took the child off of gluten and dairy, and there really wasn't any major improvement, and I was sort of disappointed in that. Um, but when I looked further at the testing, something else that had come up on the testing was beef. And it wasn't terribly elevated, but was elevated enough that I wanted to try to remove beef. And so I said to the mom, I can't promise you, but why don't we try to remove beef from the diet as well? And as soon as she removed beef, the eczema really went away. Um, we tested that when they had gone on vacation and decided to let him cheat and got him a beef hamburger and his eczema came back in with a vengeance. So uh, that's just one of the examples of how it really can change patients' lives if the food allergy testing shows what's going on with them. Uh, so I definitely uh, have to say that it's helped so many of my patients and I really try to order it when I am suspecting that possibly a food is, is causing an issue. So thank you.